Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another YouTube video for that ass. Uh, like, comment, and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell if you can. Uh, very appreciative of all my subscribers. I'm up to 300 some subscribers now. Hopefully, by the time you're seeing this, I will be at one million subscribers so thank y'all so much like y'all are the reason why i'm making these videos i just definitely want to help everybody um expand their t-shirt business or whatnot and also first and foremost uh you know what i'm saying follow me on all of my social channels all of my social platforms my facebook group i'm going to put the link in the bio my instagram i'm going to put the link in the bio um keep sharing the videos keep liking them um, keep suggesting ideas. Uh, that's my hand going everywhere. Um, definitely made a lot of made a lot of little investments um, from all the, su the subscribers. I uh, got a new idea book. So basically, it's an iPad with the you know with the little pencil joint. So this is a new addition to the to the channel. Um, I got more videos that I want to post. Some you know more topics I want to share. But I ain't gonna keep I ain't gonna keep rambling. Y'all ain't trying to hear all that. <laughs> All right, so this video, this video, I don't even know what this is about. This, uh, okay, there it goes. It says, make a video about the Sawgrass printup after one year. So I got some notes. So this is like the video after one year. As you, if you, uh, if you looked at the previous videos, you already know what's going on. You already know what's going on. Um, the first thing that I wanted to cover is, you know, if you make your own, you make your own, um, you make your own designs. Basically, make sure that your DPI is set to 300. If your DPI is set, you know what I'm saying, a 400, 500, 600, yeah, guess what's going to happen? It's not going to print. You know what I'm saying? It's going to take forever. And you, you know what I'm saying? You really don't want to do too much, like, obvious things with this, um, with this, with this printer. Because this printer is very bootleg as a bitch. So look, 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 let me see. Um, two point, this is 2.6 megabytes. Anything over that 2.6 megabytes, um, it's gonna slow down. Anything above 300 DPI, it's gonna slow down. Like Sawgrass needs to, I wish they would've kinda let us know this um, instead of, you know, gotta find out on your own and that tech support sucks. So what I'm gonna do, cause I'm still printing from the um, print manager, you can print from your software from your uh editing software but i i haven't i played around with it once but i didn't want to waste any paper or nothing like that so i didn't really you know tweak the setting so this is what i'm doing i'm printing out some more face masks um i already ganged up my images this is for a business called body things body things man body things <laughs> so uh yeah, yeah yeah they got a little business going on i guess they're doing you know what i'm saying some kind of like fitness type stuff I don't ask no questions. I just do the mask. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but it, it looks, it's a dope logo. So um, I'm going to look for body tings. I already, you see, as you see, I already ganged my images up. She wants 10 masks. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be a you know white background so I can cut around it. Cut around, cut around, cut around. Uh, so I got to find it. Where is that? Body tings. Hold on. Damn, where is that? It should be on the body. Is this it? Yeah, body print. Okay, cool. cool. All right, so. See, it's loading up quick. Now, these are the settings that you put your joint on. If you open it from the print, print manager and you're wondering why your blacks are not coming out black, they're coming out gray, green, brown, or whatever, click polyester fabric. Booyah, okay? High quality. Always do this. Text print R. Boom. Even if you're not using that text print, print R paper, and then I'm printing from the bypass tray, okay? Now, a lot of my frustrations come from you know, the bypass tray. Cause when it's coming from this, you know, the, the regular degla, you know, I don't have a lot of issues, but check, my, check this out, check this out. This is what I'm about to get into. You see this? Sawgrass did not let me know about the thickness of the paper. You know what I'm saying? This is 125 G's. Like I use this because the colors come out richer. You know what I'm saying? It comes out more bolder, more richer. You know what I'm saying? And this is sublimation paper, right? So you would think you'll be able to use this in your sublimation printer. 
right? You know, you pay thousands of dollars for this thing. Okay, so this is a print. You know what I'm saying? This is one print that messed up. Okay, what happens is it ends up grabbing and it for some odd reason the rollers are 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 ouch. I don't even know what to tell you. It it grabs it and basically it chews it up. You know what I'm saying? But this is like this happens once every four prints. Two yeah, I'll say like once every four prints. It chews it up, spits it out. You know what I'm saying? But I love this thick paper because it holds the ink. It doesn't give me a lot of those piece of wheels. This is what you call a piece of wheel, like the little drips, as opposed to the thinner papers, like little, little fucking uh, sh little shrieks. It's kind of hard to show you, but some it looks like that. But uh, it doesn't give you a lot of the piece of wheels, you know what I'm saying? So basically, I use this is what I use. This is like from Amazon, cheap, it's nice, it's good. Uh, 125 gram maybe i need to try out the 120 you know what i'm saying because they got the 120 too so my, i probably got to try that out but i love this one you know what i'm saying the only issues is sawgrass sucks that's the only issues um i wouldn't be you know if they if they had better customer support i wouldn't be trashing this company so much but they they don't help you know what i'm saying they don't help so no choice but to trash them hopefully somebody a rep or give me a refund for this printer so I can get the Epson F570. Now I've seen a lot of people online and Facebook groups they're converting, um, you know, a lot of the Epson printers um, straight to the Eco Tank. They can um, like when you buy an Eco Tank, basically they what they're saying is you can um, it don't put the, um, the 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 inkjet printer in there, put the uh, the the sublimation ink straight in the junk. So if you can start off with like a regular Epson jump and then put the ink, the uh, sublimation ink in there, I mean, I think that would be a better investment than this. But if you have the bread, um, I would say don't even fool with this. Don't even fool with it. As you saw what I just did, job reset, enter. I have to do that all the time if I want to print 13 by 19. See, like why I got to do this? It's, it's some like some ratchet trailer park hood type printer you know what i'm saying all right so what we're gonna do is click print wow wow all right so um issue number two all right so i, I think i already covered you can print directly from your computer but you got to find the best color settings all right if you file I, I, I covered the uh, dpi issue if it's more than 300 dpi it's going to take don't don't even do it just make sure it's 300 dpi don't fuck with it okay cover the thickness of paper the 125g um is good works for me oh let me plug this on. i ain't plug my joint up but yeah so far you know i end up having to buy this this um printer here because i thought the um i thought they canceled my subscription on my old macbook but um you know, knowing now that I can just print directly from my software, I wish I would have known that in the beginning, but Sawgrass uh, customer support sucks. All right. All right, so let's see here. Uh, Epson F570 or converter printer. Um, the F570 is is built for sublimation. So, you know, that thing is a workhorse. I swear to God, I've, I, my friend got it and that don't. <laughs> Y'all see that? Y'all see that? That's the, it's not catching for some odd reason. It does that all the time. So, um, yeah, and my friend has the F570. That joint is, I'm telling you, that joint is on point. I mean, for the price, it's good. You know what I'm saying? The ink replacement is like $16 and it lasts, you know what I'm saying? It lasts for a long time. All right. Now, the only issue I'm running into is the ink not lasting for a long time, but I'm still... I'm still using this, you know what I'm saying? Same stuff, you know what I'm saying? I got two packs in the back. Two packs in the back, you know what I'm saying? I had to buy another joint just for black, so, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm still rolling with that. I'm still rolling with that ink right there. So that's still giving me some good stuff there. All right, so, yeah, let me see. Um, Overall, what I would give this, this, this printer, I was going to, out of five, I was going to give it a two and a half, but I'm, I'm going to have to give it a two. 
I'm gonna have to give it a two. Um, this this printer should not be in a thousand dollar range. This is not worthy of a thousand dollars. This should be. This should be the. This is the eight hundred. They have a new model, the thousand, but it still sucks. Um, you know what I'm saying? This should be. This I would say a good seven hundred, six hundred, seven hundred. You know what I'm saying? But since they're little con artists, they of course they're gonna charge you sixteen hundred dollars. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. So this is from the XC Inkjet Ink. Comes out really good. Comes out really good. On that paper is nice and thick. You know, so two out of five stars is what I give this thing. Uh let me make sure I covered everything. I think I got everything. Hold on. Um, yeah, I think I got everything, y'all. Um, I got some more videos. I just need to edit them. Um, but this one, I'm just going to upload it because I haven't been uploading videos in a minute. So, um, Alexa, play some smooth jazz. Here's a station in my smooth jazz. Oh, yeah, I love this thing. This is the Echo Dot. I should, y'all think I should do a review? Give me a thumbs up. This ain't sweet, y'all. All right, if y'all like this video, um, make sure you hit the thumbs up, the notification bell, um, you know what I'm saying? Hit everything and, you know, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Let this video hit. Give me, um, try to smash the like button. Give me a hundred likes. Come on, give me a hundred likes, y'all. I, I throw videos every day. <laughs> All right, y'all, peace out, go on.